how I have the links on the thing. It's already recording. Yep. I figured. Uh, so I can cut this out. It's okay. This is director's commentary. <laughs> um, so, and if you want to come sit down closer, if you want to move up uh, closer, that's fine. All right. So, uh, for geometry, for GED, there's about three things you really need to know. The first thing that needs to know is come with straight lines. So, for lines, we have uh, just talked about lines. First, we have to talk about uh, circles. How many degrees are in full circle? 360. 360. All right. So when we take the circle and we cut it in half, how many uh, degrees are we going to have in the circle cut in half? 180 degrees. Half a circle, right? Okay. So that's half a circle is 180 degrees. Well, using a straight line, when we take the measure of a straight line, oh wow, look at that. Uh, 180 degrees, half a circle. So that when I take a straight line and I bisect it, with another line. When I cut it with another line, I now have two angles. I have angle one and I have angle two. Angle one plus angle two will have to add up to be 180 degrees. Okay. So that uh, if I know what angle one is, I can figure out what angle two is. If I know what angle two is, I can figure out what angle one is. So let's say that angle one is going to be 100 degrees. Okay. What does angle 2 have to be? 80 degrees, right? So, and we can do the math to prove that by saying instead of angle 1, we're going to have 100 degrees. 100 degrees plus angle 2 is going to equal to 180 degrees, right? And so now it's kind of an algebra problem where I have an unknown here and I have a known. We do the opposite of what's happening to our uh, unknown. So I subtract by 100 from both sides. So that cancels that out. So we're left with angle 2 is equal to 80 degrees. Okay? So that's how we can solve that. So that gets us that. Now then, if you notice, we got another uh, straight line right there. So this is 80 degrees. I got myself another straight line right there. Well, you can turn it, uh, if you turn the camera so that this becomes like a horizontal line. Yeah. So now I got 80 degrees this way, right? So now I got 100 degrees right here. So these two are equal to each other. And if this is 100, well, this one has to be 80 over here. So I got. The ones that are vertically across from each other are what are called vertical angles. They're always equal to each other. Okay. So those are the. Um, so that's a large part of uh, finding the angles. Then we get to a second thing that comes with this. And that's going to be, when we have uh, two parallel lines, okay, so we're going to have line one and line two. Notice the capital, like the cursive L, that stands for line. If they say that line one is parallel to line two, we can use it. If they do not say it, do not trust it. Uh, don't trust anything that they don't tell you. None of the drawings in the GD are drawn to scale. Okay? So now I'm going to take these two parallel lines, and then I'm going to bisect both of them with the same line, or transverse them. Okay? I'm going to 
go across the book. So that now I'm going to have angle one, angle two, angle three, and angle four, and then angle five, angle six, angle seven, and angle eight. Okay. Another thing that we need to know is that when we have our two parallel lines, and they're uh, transverse by the same line, that the corresponding angle, so that top left is going to be equal to top left. So let's use the 100, 100 uh, 180, 180. So this one, if angle 1 is equal to 100, then mm -hmm. angle 5 is going to be equal to 100. Okay, so the lines are parallel. The corresponding angles will be equal. Okay. Alright, so, and since we know angle 1 and angle 5 are equal, that means angle 1 and angle 3 are equal, and this so that angle 1 is equal to angle 3 is equal to angle 5 is equal to angle 7. And the same thing goes for angle 2 is equal to 4 is equal to um, six. Uh, yeah, 6, 8, 6, 4, and 8, 6, and 8. Yeah. Okay, so that's that part of the lines. Okay. And then So that's the lines, and that's basically all that they're going to have you do with the lines. There's a couple of definitions that you might want to know. Um, the one that you're probably going to need to know for the thing is supplementary angles. Supplementary angles are angle one and angle two. They add up to equal 180 degrees. Angle one and angle six are supplementary. Okay, because this one plus this one will be 180. So that's another term that they might throw at you. Uh, there are other terms that they'll throw at you. Um, a lot of times those are just there to kind of trick you. Uh, I'd recommend that you go into the back of the books and you look at the glossary just to be on the safe side. But this is going to be the one that the majority of the questions are going to focus on. So it's a little bit angles. Supplementary angles. So that's the lines. Then the next thing they're going to do with the angles is going to be the triangles. You take a triangle. And if you want, if your arms are getting tired and you want to pass it off to somebody, look. No me toman uno más que no se mira bien. Ahora sí. Okay. So we have angle A, B, angle C. In a triangle, the sum of all angles equals to 180 degrees. Okay. So that uh, here, instead of needing one, I need two different angles to be able to say uh, I can figure out the other one. But they say, okay, this one's 50 or 40, and this one's 50 then this one here has to be 90. Because 40 plus 50 is 90. 90 plus 90 gets me 180. Okay. So that's one of the things they'll, give it, they'll throw at you. Um, they'll like to throw the algebra in here. 
So the, all I know is that angle A plus angle B plus angle C is equal to 180 degrees. And so instead of something easy like this, one of the ones they love to do, they're going to do this one here. It's going to be, um, it's going to be x, x plus 30, and then 2x. This is going to be one of the ways they're going to do it, right? And so uh, instead of having something easy like this, we're going to have a is going to be 2x, b is going to be x, and c is going to be x plus 30. And so, equal to 180 degrees. And so then, we're at, then this is now an algebra problem, but we can solve these because we have solved these already. And so those will be the kind of questions that they'll throw at you sometimes. And that's one of the things they'll do with the triangle. That's one of the things you'll need to know for the triangles. The other thing that you'll need to know about triangles uh, is how to figure out which triangles are similar or congruent. Similar triangles are going to be the same shape. Okay, you got that one big wedge, and then it's the same shape, it's just smaller. So it'll be same shape, different size. And the angles are equal, which makes perfect sense because the angles are going to be the shape. If it's like this, then this angle and this angle are going to be the same. If I change the shape, I'll have to change the angles. So similar triangles have the same angles. Now if triangles are congruent, Congruent triangles have the same angles, and the same size. <coughs> okay. So similar means they're the same shape and they'll sh share angles. Uh, congruent means that they will be the same exact size. So this triangle and this triangle are congruent. Um, it's just that I flip, flipped it around. So I rotate this thing around and look, oh, look at that triangle. Oh, OK. So they're congruent. OK, they can fit into the same on top of each other with no exactly. overlap. And similar ones are just? Similar ones are just the same shape, yeah. And so that's roughly going to be everything that you're going to need to know for the uh, the uh, geometry section. Uh, so now uh, we can stop it. <laughs>